Good morning, everyone. It's Dr. Myron Roll, 5.45 a.m., Tuesday morning. Walking into Mass General Hospital. Several buses here to help us in, workers, to fight the effort against COVID-19. Every workday, Myron Roll is faced with the growing reality of coronavirus. Did you go down to the ER today? Or ED, I guess you would call it? Yes, I went down to the emergency department uh, and I was walking through the emergency department. I was seeing so many individuals with respiratory distress and respiratory compromise. And, uh, you know, the numbers are, are staggering. Our neurosurgical floor has been transformed into a floor just full of COVID-19 patients. It is uh, hectic, that's for sure. Ten years ago, I met the former NFL defensive back under very different circumstances as we walked through the historic campus of Oxford University. Do you feel the ghost in a place that's this old and steeped in history? <laughs> you do feel the ghost a little bit. Um, you, you're, you recognize the history, you recognize the ghost, you recognize the fact that uh, you're in a very enchanting place, a very historical place. At the time, Myron was a Rhodes Scholar pursuing a master's degree in medical anthropology. Ten years later, he's a third-year neurosurgery resident at Massachusetts General Hospital. So as soon as you get into the hospital, which I'm here now, we have to put on these protective masks. Everybody has to wear them. It's a hospital. At the moment, he's thinking like many of us. The pandemic pummeling America. All the patients in this room, they all have COVID bed space, uh, our operating rooms may even be turned into ICUs because uh, there's so many people that are either positive uh, with COVID-19 or suspected of having it. So I'd say our supplies are pretty, um, pretty limited right now and dwindling. So here's typically where a mask would be for surgery, but because they're needed elsewhere, there are no masks right now. A decade ago, Roll was studying in Oxford to become a brain surgeon while also training and preparing for the 2010 NFL Draft. Two, three, to do so, Roll had to skip his senior year of football at Florida State. Well, there's a sacrifice of not playing football for a year. There's a sacrifice of, you know, possibly losing a step, so to speak, in, in the NFL's terminology. There's a risk, a chance of me losing uh, some of my football ability is real. It's a real concern for people. What's the last goal you wrote down? The last goal I wrote down was first round. First round, I think that explains it all. I want to be a first rounder. Good. Instead, Roll fell to the sixth round, drafted by the Tennessee Titans. His NFL career lasted three years. Honestly, looking back on it, I wouldn't have it any other way. 10 years ago, I always had the thought that after football was done, uh, that I would go into neurosurgery. We have an epilepsy surgery today. It's one of the surgeries that we're able to stay on schedule despite COVID-19. Got to get to work. Let's do it. Football has never left me. I still wake up in the morning and, and think of the operating room like a game. Like it's showtime, let's, let's perform. I got to do what I got to do because people are counting on us right now. This is our time to help very sick people. And so that motivation continues to drive me every single day. 